I have a notebook open over here with some relatively default scikit-learn stuff. I am grabbing a data set over here, and for this demo, I'm just doing something with simulated data. After that, I do my trained test split. Then I'm ready to pick a model, and that's something I can get started with. Given this bit of starter code, you're probably thinking a little bit about metrics now. Maybe you also want to make some charts to see how well your machine learning model is performing. And you may already be on the scikit-learn docs at this point to figure out what part of the API can actually tell you the precise chart that you need for your specific use case. For this moment in time, we've been working on a tool called SCORE that actually helps out a fair chunk. As of right now, you can find a estimator report object inside of SCORE, which is a package that is built on top of scikit-learn. And one way to think about it is that this is an object that kind of comes with a lot of batteries included of stuff you would typically want to do anyway. The way that it's currently set up is that you can take your model that you've defined beforehand and you can put it in together with your X-train, Y-train, X-test, and Y-test datasets. From here, there's a section of the reporter that has all sorts of metrics. And you can ask for a quick report that gives you a lot of stuff you might be interested in. We've got precision numbers, we've got recall numbers, and there's also a Breer score if you're interested in doing your calibration just right. But in a lot of ways, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. If you take that reporter object, and if you call help on it, you can see that it comes with all sorts of tools to diagnose your logistic regression model. There's a big chunk of metrics, and you can also add your own custom ones, by the way. But it also comes with a couple of charts that might be of interest. Want to see the precision recall chart of your classifier? Well, luck would have it. Totally built in. And the same thing holds for the ROC curve, by the way. The whole point of this reporter is that a lot of work is being done for you. Depending on the estimator that you pass in, you might see different results and different metrics that are relevant to the task that you're doing. Right now, this reporter picks up that we're doing binary classification, but if you're doing regression or non-binary classification, that will also totally get picked up. There's also an interesting caching mechanism under the hood. This way, you don't have to recalculate the predictions every time that you add a metric, and that can really speed up your reports. If you want to learn more, you can go to SCORE to learn more about some of the details of the implementation. But it's also good to observe that SCORE is really only just getting started. You can definitely expect more tools to help you diagnose and develop your scikit-learn pipelines. And the goal of SCORE really is to be your scikit-learn sidekick that comes with batteries included, as well as some recommended practices. Feel free to join our Discord if you have any questions, but keep an eye on this project. We're definitely adding stuff as we speak.